Good afternoon YouTube, X4 2708 back again with another movie pickups video. As promised in my uh, my last video, um, I'd got a, a massive chunk of um, DVDs that I'd picked up over the last couple of weeks. Um, so previous video, if you haven't checked it out guys, head over and have a look, some really good um, charity shop movie pickups. This video is going to be um, showing the movie pickups from a trip that myself and Ghost Lou went out to uh, last weekend. Um, so these are going to be CX pickups and also CX pickups from uh, a trip into one of the local towns with um, the girlfriend and her sister a couple of days ago. So, like I say, this is going to be a, um, a CEX movie pickups video. Um, I've still got some charity shop um, movie pickups as well. Um, so those are down down on uh, one of the bottom shelves down there. So I will be showcasing uh, those ones in the next few days. But so I didn't get too far behind with the CEX ones, I thought I'd... Uh, lump them all into one video for you guys this afternoon so the ones that i picked up um when i went out with ghost lou last weekend um bear with me one second cup of tea so <clears throat> i've still got my botched setup um at the minute so on top of the two piles of dvds precariously um balanced on the stool in front of me I've also decided, you know, um, danger that it is that um, I'm going to balance a, uh, a boiling hot cup of tea on there as well. So don't do things by halves, but hey ho, you only live once. First DVD, guys. One I haven't seen in an absolute age, but uh, really uh, enjoyed it when I did watch it previously. And it is The Bay. And that is, let's have a look, from the producers of Insidious and Sinister. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed this one when I watched it. Probably several years since uh, since I last saw it. But like I say, I'm having a look um, across all of the local CEXs at the minute. That they're ones that fall into either a pound or a pound fifty. And if they're ones that I haven't got in the collection, then uh, I'm grabbing them uh, as and when I see them locally. So there we go, there's the bay. Right, next up, funnily enough, I was talking to my dad about um, movies um, when I had a catch up with him a couple of days ago. Um, and I mentioned I'd picked up some Steven Seagal movies recently. Um, and he shattered my illusion of him. He said, well, you do know Steven Seagal's a fraud. And I was like, oh, right, okay. So I started Googling and the amount of lies and that that um, Steven Seagal has told over the years about his um, his martial arts backgrounds and knowing Bruce Lee and all that sort of thing. It's all dog shit. So it kind of shattered my illusion of him. And I thought, well, I don't know. Do, do I really want to pick up these older films that I've really enjoyed growing up um but for now yeah i am gonna still still pick them up but i think he's a bit of an asshole to be honest after what i've read online about him so first one well in fact it's the only steven seagal one that i've picked up um i have got out for justice over there um this one's marked for death um and i think there's nico as well um exit wounds um so there's another one to do with the oil industry, which is another good one of um, Stephen Seagal's. Obviously, he's in uh, Machete as well. So, but um, yeah, kind of um, shattered my uh, my illusions of him after that conversation with my dad the other night. So, but yeah, one pound fifty marked for death. Old school Stephen Seagal. I always enjoyed. The newer stuff when, you know, he started obviously putting on the weight and getting other people to do all his stunts and that for him. I didn't enjoy those at all. But early stuff like Mark for Death, pretty good. Right, 
Next one, an absolute classic. I've only ever seen this one once before. Um, and it is the special edition. So it's two discs and it's quite a weighty DVD actually. So, and it is Raging Bull with Robert De Niro. So absolute classic, this one. I say I've only ever seen it once before. Same as the um, the other Robert De Niro one I've got to show next. Um, but yeah, absolutely superb films. Always ones that, you know, make people's top 100 lists of all time. Um, but yeah, a long overdue rewatch is incoming of this one. So it's the special edition. Uh, let's have a look. Original theatrical trailer. Uh, the Bronx Bull 25-minute in-depth documentary exploring the making of the film, um, two hidden special features, um, 15, is it 15? 16 page booklet offering a date, detailed insight into the making of the film, etc. So there we go, there's a raging bull. All right, let me sort me piles out, as they say. And as mentioned, there we go. Another legendary Robert De Niro movie in Taxi Driver. So I only saw this one for the first time a couple of years ago. Um, it was a recommendation from my uh, my best friend at the time, and you know he was blown away that uh, that I'd never seen it before, and said, "Right, you need to put that wrong right." And uh, yeah, I watched it. Absolutely loved it. So. Again, looking forward to uh, re-watching this one again soon. Next up, a movie that always makes my, um, probably, what would I say, top five, top ten horrors of all time. And it is the original Omen with Damien. So I can't beat horror movies with uh, with creepy kids. Puts it to uh, to a whole new level, doesn't it? So this is the twenty fifth anniversary edition. So again, just one pound fifty. I know they've done a box set of I don't know three or four of the Omen films, including this original one. Um, I'll look into them. I can't remember what the um, the sequels rated. Um, but this original Omen, like I say, always always in my uh, top ten of uh, of all time. So, absolutely superb movie. I think is it from the seventies? Yeah, nineteen seventy six. So there we go, the Omen. <clears throat> right, quick slurpy slurp. <sighs> so much better doing. Uh, movie pickups down here in the dining room so much easier for me to make myself a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee or even if it's an evening grab myself a beer and uh, sit and do the pickups down here rather than me struggling to try and carry something upstairs next up this is a complete random one but I saw this years and years ago and it's it's an all-time comedy classic and it is the plank. So obviously with what is it, Eric Sykes and Tommy Cooper, uh, the legendary Roy Castle, Hattie Jakes, Jimmy Tarbuck. So this is the uncut version. So I'm not too sure if this is the. That's looking on the screenshots on the back. It's the colour version, but I'm sure they did a a version in black and white, and they also did one that. Um, I'm pretty sure it didn't have audio in as well, but I can't quite remember. So if anyone knows anything on uh, this classic comedy movie, then let me know in the comments. I know I can quite easily Google it, as some people would say, but I'd much rather um, interact and have a conversation with, uh, with you guys in the comments. So there we go. There's the plank. Next up, a uh, documentary. Uh, chuffed to bits to be able to um, to grab this one. Have seen it several times over the years. Um, and it is Exit Through the Gift Shop. So, superb documentary about um, Banksy. 
the graffiti artist. So, you know, those of you that know me outside of YouTube will know that I'm into my uh, my graffiti and my art, etc. Um, massive fan of, of Banksy's work. Um, I've got Banksy Does New York over there. Um, I've also seen the other documentary, Banksy vs. Robbo, which is another really good watch. And I've seen the, the latest um, Banksy documentary, but I think that's still hovering around 15, 20 pounds at the minute. But uh, they're all really good. And, you know, I enjoy watching them uh, or re-watching them through from time to time. So to find this one in a local CEX for one English pound... There was no chance I was uh, leaving it behind. So there we go, exit through the gift shop. So the inside story of street art, a brutal and revealing account of what happens when fame, money and vandalism collide. So there we go. <clears throat> Next up, been looking for this um, horror comedy for a while now. So I am um, trying to track down some of my favourites. Um, where I can and this one is there we go the cottage the cottage so there we go absolutely uh, brilliant horror comedy this one so as you can see on the front hilariously gory horribly funny deliciously a dark lapse so this one's got what's the name in it um, Jennifer Ellison so, but yeah, seen this a couple of times over the years. Always one that I enjoy re-watching. So, for pound fifty, was uh, chuffed to add it back into the collection again. Right, one of um, myself and Ghost Lou's favourite. I think this is a, is it an 80s comedy? Is it 80s or 90s? I can't read the writing. I've got a feeling it's late 80s. Very tiny writing on this one. Um, dads and lads gaming, you know, um, you know my struggle. <laughs> so uh, I think it's 1989. But it is the classic Weekend at Bernie's. So myself and Ghost Lou always love re-watching this one. Uh, absolutely uh, brilliant comedy from potentially the late the late 80s but um yeah if you haven't seen this one guys honestly it's a cult classic it's superb if you like your your 80s comedies then uh, this one's up there with uh, with being one of the best i think the sequel's pretty good from what i recall as well um but yeah original weekend at bernie's is uh, funny as fuck and uh, always one that uh, myself and Ghost Lou enjoy watching together. So there we go. That's that one. Right. Three more on the pile from um, myself and Ghost Lou's trip out last weekend. And then we're on to the ones that uh, myself and the girlfriend picked up um, earlier on this week. So we have... Halloween, so this is the 2018 release um, that they did as part of the the new trilogy it was. Um, obviously you've got what, Halloween Kills as the second one and then Halloween Ends, but we don't talk about Halloween Ends because it's dog shit. So <laughs> there we go. But this one, the 2018 one, quite enjoyed. Um, you know, then they moved on to Halloween Kills, which was all right, but it wasn't brilliant. And then, like I say, Halloween ends. You can write that one off for me. That will not be coming into uh, into my collection down here. But yeah, this is a decent watch. The uh, the first in the trilogy from twenty eighteen. Next up is a collector's edition. For one that I saw back um, back in the day at the cinema. Um, absolutely love it. The remake's pretty good as well. But I had to pick up the uh, original release. And it is Candyman. So, dare you say it. Was it three times you say it? But, um, yeah, go for it if you're feeling brave enough, guys. <laughs> so, there we go. The original Candyman Collector's Edition. Obviously, with uh, Tony Todd and Virginia Madsen in. Um, 
bonus features, filmmakers commentary, sweets to the sweet, the Candyman myths, um, Clive Barker raising hell and Bernard Rose storyboards. But yeah, absolutely superb film. Uh, like I say, saw it at the cinema back in the day and it's always one I enjoy re-watching when I can. So for £1.50 it was coming into the collection. So there we go. And then the last one from myself and Ghost Lou's trip out last weekend. I don't need to see, say anything about this. I'll just show you what film it is. There we go. It's that cool classic, Gremlins. So, £1.50 in the old cardboard snapper case, but absolutely superb film from the 80s, this one. So, I'm long overdue a rewatch on it. I haven't seen it for, uh, for donkey's years now. So, there we go. Gremlins for £1.50. Right. So, that's the pile from last weekend. Right, and where I'm balancing my cup of tea now is a lot less precarious. So let me bring these movies forward. So these next ones are ones that myself and the girl, well, I picked up when I went out with um, the girlfriend and her sister at the start of this week. Um, three Blu-rays and some DVDs. So. I'll save the DVD, uh, the Blu-rays till last. Um, now there's a couple of films here that I haven't seen before, and several that I have and really enjoy re-watching. So similar to the Dawn of the Dead remake that I picked up the other day, this is another one that's up there as one of the much better remakes that's been done over the years. And it is the remake of Evil Dead from 2013. So I think most of these, again, £1.50 from CX. So you can't go wrong for those prices. But yeah, remake of the original Evil Dead. Um, absolutely superb remake. Brutal with it as well. Um, if you haven't checked it out and it's one you've ummed and ahed about because, you know, there's been so many bad remakes over the years this is definitely one of the better ones guys so uh yeah definitely check it out so there we go 2013 evil dead next up from 2015 now this is a movie that i've only ever seen once before um and it's it's really well it, it's a horror western um, so yeah, not many um, movies fall into this category. So it is one that you'd probably look at and think, you know, if you didn't know anything about it, if you hadn't seen any trailers, you'd be like, well, is it really a horror? But it is, and it is really, really good. And it is Bone Tomahawk. So like I say, only ever seen this one once, but I did thoroughly enjoy it. Um, so it's going to be a long overdue rewatch when um, when I get round to rewatching it shortly. So old um, what's his name, Kurt Russell. So yeah, absolutely brilliant movie. And for one pound fifty, like I say, it's been on my radar. I've re um, wanted to rewatch it for probably the last year and a half, two years now something like that so yeah that one's uh, going on the pile hopefully to watch later on this week right what have we got next oh we've got a bit of slippy slippy action next with jordan peels get out like say bit of slippy slippy so don't mind picking the slip covers up. I think I mentioned in one of the um, the previous videos that I chucked a load of slip covers out when I cleared my physical media collection a couple of years ago. I wasn't into slip covers at all, but you know I've started um, uh, watching a lot of people on YouTube that do movie pickups and things like that, and they're all about the the slips and sods law. There was um, two of these on the shelf. One of them didn't 
have a slip cover so I picked I picked the one with the slip cover up so bloody silly little uh, rabbit hole to go down but like I say I'm not OCD about it if it's not got a slip cover then it hasn't but if it has then I'll, uh, I'll pick it up you know even just so I can say slippy slippy on me videos so there we go better get out absolutely superb modern day thriller this one um, I've seen it several times. When did it come out? 2017. So I've seen it several times over the years. Probably one I watch at least once a year. Uh, maybe a couple of times a year. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant movie. If you haven't seen it, guys, I know there's some very odd Jordan Peele movies. Um, the likes of Us and Nope. But Get Out does make a lot more sense and it is absolutely superb so if you've been on the fence with uh, with regards to watching it then get off the fence and give it a watch absolutely superb movie there we go get out and i just noticed as well it says on the sticker on the front includes alternate ending so i'm going to be looking forward to checking that one out to see uh, what they did with the alternate ending Right, next up, again, another one that I haven't seen for a long time now. This is going back, um, came out 2016, and it is Don't Breathe. So I've, I've got a feeling this one and the Lights Out movie um, came out around, around the same time. So I seem to remember watching them both around the same sort of time as each other. Uh, both really good movies. I do need to get um, Lights Out again at some point. But uh, yeah, this one's really good. Very um, creepy, um, suspenseful and atmospheric. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to uh, re-watching again soon. Next up, absolutely brutal movie this one. Not one that everybody can stomach. Um, but I've seen it a few times over the years. In fact, um, I saw it probably, what, two weeks ago rewatched it again and it is Eden Lake so again one pound fifty you can't go wrong absolutely superb movie like I say not everybody's cup of tea it is a bit um a bit brutal and close to the knuckle at points um but yeah one that I can stomach and I do uh, enjoy rewatching from time to time so there we go Eden Lake Right, and then last of the DVDs. <clears throat> I can't tell you anything about these movies at all, apart from I've never seen them before, so I am uh, looking forward to giving them a first time watch. So we have Colin. So this is the two disc special edition. Say so no idea about this movie. If you have seen it before, guys, let me know in the comments. Um, seem to review quite well when I checked it out I think on um, IMDB um, and it's about um, Colin the zombie it says it's a smart twist on the zombie genre uh, the most touching film about a decomposing corpse you'll see all year as though there's an absolute shit ton of them so um, it says already a worldwide phenomenon with huge media coverage Col Colin is the first zombie movie told from the zombies perspective so yeah, really intrigued to see how that one plays out. So looking forward to uh, to giving that one a watch. I think it is a an English English audio movie as well. Um, full length audio commentary, the making of documentary, which runs forty minutes, and deleted scenes director's commentary as well. So decent uh, decent little release, and like I say, hoping it's going to be a good one. Right, and then this last one, um, well, DVD-wise, let me just reach these three Blu-rays, and then we're finished for today's video. Um, this movie has got an absolutely bizarre title, um, and it's one that was on my radar a few years ago. I can't remember what, um, what year it came out, but I remember going into the likes of... Um, Sainsbury's and Tesco's looking for it because I'd heard it was one of those that was in their you know budget five pound releases um but yeah the the title completely 
intrigued me, if you like, and it is The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot. So I have no idea about this movie at all. Ghost Lou is a massive fan of his um, his history and his, his World War Two and Hitler and the Nazis and all that sort of stuff. So like I say, it was on my radar a few years ago and I hadn't been able to track it down. I'm not really one for going onto the likes of eBay and ordering stuff. I tend to um, pick most of my stuff up in the wild, either, you know, charity shops, CX marketplace, etc. Um, so yeah, it was just a case of biding my time and stumbling across it when I could. So again, no idea about this movie at all. Um, if it is one you've seen before, then let me know if it's, um, if it's as obscure and um, bizarre as the title suggests. So there we go. That was The Man Who Killed Hitler. Hitler? What the fuck? The Man Who Killed Hitler and then The Bigfoot. So bizarre. But we shall see. Right. And then I think we'll be on 26. So we're going to be in for another half an hour video again, guys, just on CX pickups. Um, <clears throat> let me just have a quick slurp ski. Right. Three Blu-rays to finish off. Um, I think I said before, not really going out my way to pick up Blu-rays unless they're particularly decent prices and they're films that I really enjoy watching. Um, you know, by and large, probably, what, 85, 90% of what I'll pick up will be DVD at the minute. Um, but this film I saw on the fire stick probably only a week or so ago. Um, and it is brutal, but it was a really good watch. I really enjoyed it. And it is by um, Eli Roth. And it is The Green, in, uh, Green Inferno. So done by Eli Roth, like I say who also did Hostel and Cabin Fever. Now, I saw this one a week or so ago. Um, absolutely brutal movie. Some people have said, oh, it's similar to Cannibal Holocaust. Um, if any of you have seen that before, you'll know that was one of the um, notorious uh, video nasty movies that was banned, what, back in the 70s or early 80s. Um, mm. But yeah, Green Inferno. Absolutely brutal film. Um, very similar lines um, to Cannibal Holocaust, as people have said. So it's got an opening scene with a, an aeroplane crash. Um, and that in itself is absolutely brutal. Um, you know, I've seen a, a few movies over the years where there's been plane crashes, but nothing um, brutality wise compares to um, the aeroplane crash scene that uh, that starts this film off. And then I won't go, I won't do spoilers or anything, but the first scene when uh, the remaining passengers um, get captured by, um, by the tribes people, um, the first guy that gets um, dealt with, mutilated, however you want to call it, is brutal to fuck. It really, really is. Um, stomach churning, you know, I was, I was like, ooh, blimey. You know, but um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, guys, and you can stomach brutality, then this certainly uh, ramps it up. So if you haven't seen it, wholeheartedly recommend it. Like I say, primarily I'll pick stuff up on DVD. Um, but yeah, this was well worth the, uh, the Blu-ray pickup for five English pounds. And yeah, one that I am going to be re-watching again uh, later on down the line. Next up, we have the legendary Terrifier 2. So, absolutely love this movie. Again, this was another one that um, I think it, it broke all sorts of box office records when it came out. Um, you know, there, there was news news articles, all oh, people are, are walking out, throwing up and all of that sort of thing, which, you know, made me laugh. But... You know, it brought people into the box office to watch it. So, you know, I'm, I'm all for that. So those of you that know me again outside of YouTube, 
um, all know that I've got a uh, an Art the Clown tattoo which I had done on my uh, my left forearm many years ago. So that was actually before Terrifier 2 came out. It was literally just after the first Terrifier film had come out um, and before all the hype of Art the Clown came about from Terrifier 2. So massive Art the Clown fan so I had to pick up Terrifier 2 on Blu-ray. So again five pounds so decent price that one and then to finish we have a horror documentary now i hadn't gone into cex looking to pick this one up but like i say i had a quick scout across the um the blu-ray shelves on the way to where the dvd movie section was um and this one jumped out i think i had this um maybe a couple of years ago on Blu-ray when it first came out from 101 Films. Um, traded it in, you know, as I did with the um, the majority of my movie collection um, a couple of years ago. But it was an absolutely superb documentary and one that I am uh, looking forward to re-watching. And it is the, uh, the Friday the 13th um, Crystal Lake Memories documentary by 101 films and you can see that's down to six pounds now so i think i remember picking this up when it first got released by 101 and i can't can't remember it was between 12 and 15 pound i think it is and normally these horror documentaries if the decent ones they normally hold the value um but yeah for some reason even though this is a superb documentary it's down to six pound on blu-ray now so yeah I had to double check then. I, I'd, um, part of me was thinking it was down to five. But yeah, six pound. Um, and it's it's a two disc Blu-ray. Um, and it says combining hundreds of rare and never seen before photographs, film clips, outtakes, archival documents, conceptual art and behind the scenes footage featuring interviews with more than 150 cast and crew members spanning all 12 films um so yeah i think this one runs into a into a good number of hours um but yeah looking to pick these horror documentaries up where i can i know there's um was it never sleep again which is the nightmare on elm street documentary that they've done um so i need to track that one down but as soon as i saw this one on the shelf locally for for six pounds, it was a no-brainer. It was definitely uh, coming back with me for the collection. Right, there we go, guys. Another 32-minute uh, movie pickup. So that's me up to date now with my CX pickups until um, potentially I go out tomorrow. So we'll see what um, what comes along then. I've also got some charity shop pickups um, for movies to um, show I think this video is probably going to get scheduled for Friday um, so I might do another movie pickups um, over the weekend or early to mid next week so just see how things go with it being the uh, the Easter holidays etc so there we go guys that's my video for today so as always please remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll be back, uh, looks like, either weekend or early to mid next week with another video. Bye for now.